27 year old single, dancing with the stars champ, golden medalist. <laughs> what is like the love life like? <laughs> when you hit these barriers, how bad does it hurt? <laughs> 2008, what a spectacular year for you. It was a great year for me. World championship overall title. I only skated half the year, it was a good year. So why do you think it came together then? In my career, I've had numerous, numerous, I mean, from basically 1999 until 2008, I've been in contention to, to win. But it's just never been, it's never just worked out. <laughs> the plan has never been executed the right way, or something has happened, I've fallen, or I've gotten disqualified. Ono's probably going to get disqualified here for that pass, and rightfully so. He did bump into him. There's always been something, and, um, it, this time it, t it turned out to, to be you know, really good. And it is Apollo Anton Ono winning the world championships. Do you like titles? You know? Titles? Like, like good titles. Like, for instance, if you win one more medal at an Olympic Games, you will be the most decorated Winter Olympian in American history. Would you like that title? Absolutely. Why not? <laughs> what, kind of, what kind did of question know, is that? Did you know that? <clears throat> I didn't know that. Yeah. Pressure's on, kid. Pressure's um, on. Yeah. I mean, that's... That's a pretty cool and important reason to stick around. I think so. I think so. But it's not my sole reason. Look, I, I do this sport because, number one, A, I love it. Number two, I still have a gift for the sport that I feel um, maybe transcends just beyond my own personal self-indulgence of going out and getting more medals or going out and performing. As the veteran of the team, um, how do you stay at such a high level in your sport for so many years? You know what? I'm willing to do what everybody else is not willing to do. You know, like the way I approach like training, I almost get like psychotic, right? So, like nobody will ever outwork me in my sport. It's just not gonna happen. Unless you're willing to train for 12 hours a day, every day. Nobody's doing it the type of intensity that they're doing it at. You know, as long as I prepare like the best that I think I can, and I go above and beyond. I leave kind of no stone unturned in my preparation. And there's like, there's no doubts in my mind. Oh, should I have done this? Should I have done this? You know, at that point, it's just like you, you just let your body do what you've been training for. Vancouver for you. Uh -huh. I mean, my goodness, it's where you grew up skating. Mm -hmm. How special, Very special is it to be a part of this? Not only did I grow up there skating, but I, I grew up there in a sense, my father and I would drive back and forth. You know, and we talked about this full circle. Um, you know, I, I learned how to speed skate in Vancouver, BC. Uh, my first Olympic Games and Olympic experience was here in Salt Lake City. At the end of my career, I've moved back to Salt Lake City and I'm finishing the games in Vancouver. So I think there's some meaning there. I hope there's meaning there. And it is Apollo Anton Ono winning the world championships.